All right, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over the vampire base locations in Cassette Beats. Now do note, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get there, but there are multiple ways to get to multiple different locations in the game. And if you haven't watched my guide going over all of the overworld ability locations, I highly recommend you do because once you get the climbing ability, you could just climb on top of half of these vampire bases anyway. So you won't have to worry about like, oh, how am I gonna get up there to glide? But that being said, right off the bat, I marked the locations on the map where these bases and the headquarters can be found if you kind of want to discover it for yourself. Because I know like some people might just want to have like an idea of where they are and be able to actually explore each square on their own. But other than that, let's get into the actual location locations on the physical overworld all right so first up we're going to start on this square on the map and then head around this is one that you're actually going to have marked for you because if you want to get eugene you're going to have to do this and then essentially you just glide from behind as seen on screen all right so next up we're going to start by the station that is uh where that guy got dark souls in the game um head south and all you're going to do is glide it's, it's really this one's really simple if you can get it you don't even have to glide you can just jump from the same spawn point at morning town crescent or whatever it's called go north and you can reach the next vampire base again really simple Do keep in mind, you're going to need the swimming ability and either the electromagnetism ability or the climbing ability if you're coming from the side you see me coming from. You could also travel to the right side where you still need electromagnetism, but you can actually get up on top so you can glide over to get on top of the base itself. But again, the vine ability is just the best. Go get it. Next one's going to be from the Fall Down Mall. Simply head west and you'll either need electromagnetism or the vine ability to get up top. Finally, last but not least, from Cherry Cross Station. Again, just head a little bit to the west. Easy jump. Now, after this point, you will have all five vampire bases defeated. The HQ will show itself on the map via the quest log, but you will have to take Eugene with you in order to access it. I don't want to spoil too much about it, so I will just leave you guys with that. Definitely explore that base because the payoff is... Uh quite interesting. But yeah, guys, pretty quick guide. Uh, the vampire bases aren't too hard to find, but you're not really given an exact amount of how many there are. There are five total. And also, you have to defeat all of these in order to unlock fusion with Eugene, making him one of the hardest characters to get that fusion meter with, at least considering how early you find him. If you did find this video guide useful, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily monster taming videos, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.